I welcome to you guys and next tutorial I'm show you how to use Evernote web clipper so generally web clipper is is used to save the web pages and you can edit those web pages and share with your friends and team members so let me show you how to install how to plug in in Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox and how to use that one so first of all we have we go through Chrome so how to install the web clipper in chrome so let me show you so this is the Evernote already I am installed that one so just is simple go through the web store so this is the web store and you search web clipper and click on enter and the guys you found that Evernote the web so already I'm installed this one so that's why if you if you are not using this one so you can install Evernote so let me show you one other how to install the web web clipper on Mozilla Firefox so first of all you can click on open menu so you find add-ons in this add-ons can search web clipper and click on enter and the guys here you find here you found web clipper and simply install this one so now it is downloading I'm show you another way that is how to install this one means in, this, in, this, in the toolbar enter Evernote slash web clipper So this is the another way. So here you find already install this one. So now it is installed. So, so otherwise you can install. We don't we don't need any help. Ever not repeat ever not repeat for ever not. So you can install from here for Firefox so I'm, I'm already installed this one so guys let me show you how to use the Evernote web clipper so my favorite browser Chrome so in this Chrome I will show you so first of all this is my my blog make easy so subscribe to my blog and friends already I have written an article about how to use the Evernote Evernote web clipper save edit and share so this is about the article and let me show you so in the toolbar you find a you found Evernote web clipper so you click on this when you click on this we will find three sections so first one so I am open the web page make easy so it will show you make easy it's a save and the clip section and the organize section and the option section so we have three section so first we discuss about the clip section so in the clip section first one that is article when you click on the article it will show you only the about the article tag article page so articles only only articles when you click on this so we show you uh, open any one of the article so then I open this next I open the clipper so you find it found only article so without any footer and header will displays only article you found so you can see there and you can save your article so next see the next one simplified article so this is the simplified article so see how it is how this simple it's very simple now you can see so you can simplify the article so in in previous articles you found something more images like this first in, but in this simple article so just it will be show you only the content next you found here you, here you see full page so it will display the whole page whole page header footers and whatever maybe images next next you see bookmark in this bookmark so it will show you only the 
so post name article name and a website name bookmark and description about my blog so it will show one like this so next here you find screenshot in this screenshot you can drag your screen and just click on this just click on this automatically so the screenshot will be taken and you find there's different different annotations and text and in written so write a screenshot so let me show you how to, so you need to so crop this one so select uh, select i want this is only okay apply if you want to apply so next you need to write text so click on this my name is ganesh on ready this so this is very nice now next you can use stamp tool you can use stamp tool uh, you can use the hair and in my web page name and pinterest and here and you can zoom or white marker tool so you can mark anywhere so if you have any important thing so you can mark here so you can different different functional tools like uh, square boxes circles so like that so you can save the image so it is so it is saved automatically in my evernote account okay if you want to share this uh, this image or this screenshot with your friends or a team workers just simply on share and share with the evernote or you can share with the linkedin facebook twitter gmail or whatever it may be so next another thing uh, so we complete the this clip section next we go through the organize so how to organize so this is very simple so when you are saving so i will already explain you this article about when you are saving the web pages with those three files i'm i'm already selecting one one notebook that is blogging it will show automatically here so otherwise you can use another notebook so already you, you must need creating different notebooks in evernote so i'm created only blogging that's why it is simply it is taken it is stored in only in blocking otherwise you can save first time note for the first notebook so you can save it and you can add remarks if you are thinking in remark you can add remarks so on next you find options you can when you click on the options so if you show you first version of web clipper next the sign in person so you can select any one of it. in notebook selection you find use smart finding last user notebook or any other one in, in the tag selection you can smart telling so like that or you can use the keyboard shortcuts you can you also use this keyboard shortcuts and here something about legal information thank you guys thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel don't forget